This is Die Sporting Network. What work? The robbery, Polly and Weston. And here in the Baltimore City title game, supremacy is always key for these two across town, across next door neighbors. There go Pryor, gets it, Cole Wilkery. Little Obama drops the three home. The Bear Clark trying to keep the Baltimore City title in Polly's hands. Western trying to get it back for the first time in five years, including the COVID pandemic of a year ago. Cole! And it's gonna stay with Weston. These two teams met in January. Weston gave Polly one of their only two losses of the season. It was the first win for Weston against Polly in four seasons. And they're trying to double that up with the city title as well. Polly lost to St. Francis as well in February. Early February, that is. Weston lost to St. Francis as well in late January. Layup did not go. Trying to bat it. Little bump and grind there from Gray. Pryor with it and pulls it back. Johnson. Out of the wall and passed into it. Back comes Clark. Inside, off the back, no good. Stays with Polly. Weston lost to also Auspitz of Spalding early in the year. Pry had an amazing game in that one, but it just wasn't enough in the she got game. Mixer. Lowry. Clark for the tie. Off the back again, no good. Ball goes back here to Weston and the Dodgers. Dunbar, just seen a magnificent District 9 championship game with Lake Clifton and Everson on the boys' side. It's red at the Twin Bills, Caesar Girls on the back end, but in this matchup, it's well deserved as there's been some great matchups over the years between Weston and Polly here in the Balmo City title game. Colt turns back away, swings it. Johnson up inside off the pass and in. Weston up five. Gabby Johnson going to Morgan State next year. That's the three from Lowry. In and out. Iron has not been kind here to Polly early in this one. A couple shots he's going go has not so far. Ball back to the lady engineer. Clark fakes it over Pryor. Pryor took it away from her. And here comes Little Mama. To the basket, shooting two for the singer, going to Sacred Heart next year. <laughs> Prior first shot here, we got it in there, six nothing lead. Remember, Weston got off to a big lead in the first meeting against Polly as well, and the engineers clawed back in that matchup. I don't think the same want to happen for the lady engineers tonight. Second shot in there. The prior, she hits them both. Seven up in advantage here for Weston. Swings it back. Again, off the back, no good. Massenburg gets the drop to go. Holly gets on the board and down five. Screen, three pointer. Yes! Back up top, shooting up there. Second team foul on Weston. That's him, sorry. Second team foul on. Yep, I had the first team foul on Weston. 
Got in and out. That was unlucky right there. Try to Johnson. Try. Willow spin. Tough going. Try can do that though. He made Johnson picks the pocket. Up and in. Gets it back. Block for three. Off the back again. Massenburg. for the shot attempt. lead here for Weston. 354 left in the first. Back over to Massenburg. Shoots the two. Off the back, no good. Offensive rebound. Putting it up. And the ball back to Weston. The Doves. 12-5 game. Gabby Johnson. Back to Pryor. McMurray, shot clock at 10. Pryor kind of trapped and forces a turnover. It's Polly. Good defense by the lady engineers there. Driving to the hoop. Blocked. Batted. Ball back over. And a reach in against Polly. Ready for this one tonight? This is Abel Peace. Had this title for a couple seasons now. High Ocker. Colt was trapped. Johnson for three. Off the back, no good. Perfect position there for Curtis. Good ball. I think Polly will retain for setting. Oh, he's going back to Weston. Weston will get the ball back. 257 here left in the first. High energy first quarter. Johnson. Over to McMurray. Back. That's a three in the corner. Low high. Johnson in position. Couldn't get it. Johnson tried to save it. Holly gets it back. Jumper, no. Out of bounds, ball stays with Holly. Three thirty-three in that was all five lead here for Western. Trying to win the District 9 title for the first time in four seasons, technically in five years. Hammond. 
swings it over to Pryor. Pryor, off a lot of bodies there, turns it over. Backlands Pollock. Addison pulls up at the lane and drains the two. Long pass back to Pryor. You see what Wesley like to do. That's a walk. in a prior, and it's a two. Lay back to seven here for the Dubs. Massenburg puts it up off the glass no good. Ball pass, turns it off. Ball back to Pollock. Seven here left in the first quarter. Congratulations by the way to Parkville winning the Baltimore County Boys title, beating Randallstown 80 to 72. Parkville undefeated season continues on. Drive, pull up, long locker, offensive rebound. Johnson foul and she's still a little fragile here. She's walking it all, like she's gonna be okay. A little bit of a cramp. 112 left here. In the first. Left here in the first quarter. A five point lead here for West. Inside. Nice play, but just couldn't get it where it needed to go. The basket. Murray forced into a tunnel there by Pryor. Pryor. Back to Johnson. And swing it. Trapped in the corner. Call a jump ball. It's going to Holly this time. They caught Harrison in the trap right there. Watson in this game only running seven. Holly has a full load of players. Go back on miss there. Harrison with the rebound and it gives it up to Johnson. For three. Bang! Lead to eight. 17-9. Pryor. With, I believe 10 of the 17 so far. I could be wrong. At least have eight to 10. That one goes in. Cut the buzzer off top. Polly down by six after one here in the Baltimore City Championship game. Western up 17-11 in the second quarter. Coming back on Orlean Street. Coming up here on DSS. Second quarter here, underway here at Dunbar. Weston up in this game by six. That one tipped and missed. Fight for the ball. And Pryor made something happen there and forced a foul call.
factor in their favor in this game here. Prior. And there's a foul against Polly. I'm always out here with you from Orleans Street here at the famous Coach Way Court here at Dunbar. And no, we usually used to having the Baltimore City title games up at Morgan State University, but you know, if you can't get Morgan, the history of Dunbar alone echoes greatness, and that's our offensive foul against Western. Shot from Ashenberg to Junior. Got it. Second shot. Tipped and missed. And it's a two point game now. Spike greatness when these two teams see each other. It could be next door between each other or it could be in the Baltimore City title game. You're going to expect something good between the two. Pryor. Again, back over to Mary, over to Pryor, Coke, all alone. What's the shot? Clark. Bounce pass. Up top. It's going to be jump ball between her and Gabby Johnson. I believe Weston this time should get possession. Oh boy, that's a three, no! 
there. Weston still up one as Pryor with the basketball. Back over to Gabby Johnson. Swings it over. Turned it over. And it turned it back over. McMurray with it now. Up to the basket. Shooting the pair. That's Polly's assuming 17 foul. to the lady engineers. They can tie this game up with a three.
two. Again, like I said, this yellow line is a little tricky. This is on the other end like we are. Colt, triple team. Back. And Murray. 16 foul on West. You pulled up right there. I didn't know. I'm sorry. That's on Polly. That's their 19 foul. We got a one on one going on. That's a three. I miss. Colt gets the rebound to Johnson. Johnson, numbers not in Western's favor. Pull back, Pryor. Johnson for three. Tips and miss. Pryor back up. And a foul. Two shots for us to have. Here for Western. trouble here for Polly. Something that the engineers right now can ill afford to have happen to them. Off the back. Second shot. Got it. Four point game. Miles the rest of the half here. Long pass over. Defense collapse. Tough. Spin out. Had everything there by the bucket. That was a tough delivery. Pry pulls back. Johnson. She drives. Up and in off the glass. Six point lead here for Weston. They're trying to again get their first title themselves. That one went out. to the postseason in the MPSSA. Weston in 4 A's to see the likes of Catonville. And Glenn Burney, Old Mill as well. Old Mill and Glenn Burney probably end up facing each other to get to the quarters. Second shot goes. 28-21. Holly here in 3A will get a fold up Weston familiar with Howard. And Howard and Polly should make an interesting matchup indeed. Pryor, coming coast to coast, slays it in again. Oh, wow. Uh, a mental mistake there by the engineers. Right now down by nine. Didn't see the inbounds, and then when they got caught, Pryor, deep three, front end miss. Johnson with the rebound. Up over. Plank goes out. Here comes Polly. They need some offense. Didn't try it. Get the ball out your hands. They do. So it's shot the three. That's what Jordan can do that. 151 left. Weston getting in their rhythm of game now. A nine point lead. Here for one of the DMP's best goal rivalries going. Cry. Getting himself a little rest. 
Just on the court, I don't blame her. Johnson. Shot clock at six. Five, four. Pryor. Gotta take it herself. Hits it! That's a
Second half here underway. Polly trying to get off the deck. Down by 15. Going to start the second half. Oh, look out. That's a turnover. Not the way the engineers wanted to start the second half off. In this girls title game. Back over. Up! And Massenburg. Close to Clark there. Clark! We got a blocking foul. First team foul on Weston here in the second half. They have flipped the score around. Weston is the home team. They're up 37 to 22. But Clark at the line trying to make a little dent in that lead. First shot, that goes. Second shot here. To make this a 13 point game. That's a front end miss.
good. Three ball. Tip the miss. Johnson now off the back. Johnson with the rebound, she brings it out. Still an 18 point lead here for Weston. They're trying to increase it. Timeout and Time out. Polly calls time. Four three left here in the third. Down 18 is the Angelins. Back to game action. Gabby Johnson inbounds the ball for Weston and over to Rip Clark. Murray for two. No. Back comes Polly. Need some points in the hurry. Got the drop to go, and that's two. Here's one. Try. Plank goes out. Some pressure there. Deep three. Five quick on Went down hard on her knee. Her prime might have hit knees. It might be a little more than a twist. Should be all right soon here for Pop. 
Jackson will get the basketball. Both teams with three team fouls each. 43-30 is the score for Weston up. it to Johnson. Johnson with a little move. Missed it off the back. Back on Polly. They cut the lead, hit a 10 with a three. Massenburg swings it. That is a three. Yes. Bulldog, Polly down 10. The engineers, some of that first meeting that took the third quarter to really get them going. And they have got going here in the third. Diali.
50-33. Lost. Got it back as Lowry. Hope made life miserable there. McMurray with it. Get back over the prize. As they say, they want to see the show. Fourth quarter, about to get underway, and it has. The Marlins down here with you. Weston and eight minutes away from reclaiming the Baltimore City title for the first time 2017. Travel, and the ball back to Polly. Polly in each quarter has scored 11 points. Weston, 17 20, and 13. They've outscored Polly in every quarter here in this one. Yes! 
are fresh at 30, and the gang clock at 5.05. Long pass. Stolen by Johnson. Gabby Johnson, yes. Lead at the pitch now, 19. Deep three from Clark. Off top, back to us. Seniors getting hurt. The poly only have two. Oh wow, she's out. She's out of bounds. She got the ball. Polly will get it back. Oh, and shooting two. Lawyer Blakefield, Mount Kilmo, they get it on. And I'm afraid them all here on DSN. If the postseason here continues on. Second shot, no good. That's off the foot. That's going back to us. That's the MIA Conference quarterfinal. Those action. In all likelihood, we're going to have something for you for the MPSSA playoffs.
shooting. Shooting the one and one. Polly this year. Some big wins. Mount Kelmo and won the IAM B1 conference. Spins out there.
73-49. Dominant effort here by Weston. Jumper, no. Again next year. Younger than they've had in a couple of years. I'm going to say, Fran, a lot of talent. We've been going over the last couple of years. Principal White, please 
trying to get it up since 2017. This is going to be a major play in the MPSS 3A go playoffs. Those Towson, Western sweeping Polly this season. And go for the meeting. This is Die Sporting Network.